Hooray! Hi guys, it's a girl in the also known as Glupa Z, Shopa Zambia, here live on my Facebook page. Tell me where you're watching me from, because I need to discuss a very important topic. You know when I come on a live stream, then I've got something very important to share. Please share this video. I've only got about 5-10 minutes before the sun goes. Is it in or down? Thank you so much. We've got 12 people watching right now. I wanted to share something about what's going on in Zambia. You know me, I've been talking since YouTube days and I'm just um, somewhat pissed off. Hi, Constance, how are you? Let me know where you're watching me from and when we reach 100, we start. You know, when they say that what goes around comes around, it's not just a saying that the English language has. Um, life is about ups and downs. Everyone has their turn in life. And when you have your turn in life, make sure you utilize it nicely. Make sure you respect people. Make sure you value people around you. You never know tomorrow. So I was sitting in my corner doing my own thing, minding my own business. And then I came across a video which just made me feel disgusting. Because then I've come to a realization to say politicians, um, they play some dirty games, very, very dirty games. And I understand you guys when you say, no, politicians are the same, politicians are the same, politicians are the same. My son is coming. But you didn't mention you're in your Range Rover. Oh, oh I'm in my Mercedes Benz, the Range Rover is there. <laughs> yeah, the Range Rover is there there let's not get distracted guys let's talk about the real message here so today there was a press briefing in zambia where they are calling themselves the former the former the former first family the children their husbands their wives they came to address the nation of zambia and the Zambian people obviously didn't give them audience or they had to watch it by force. They even called the media in this uh, selfish kind of arrangement where their spokesperson, Tasila Lungu, who was once a councillor, is it in Chawama, was speaking. This was the first time I even listened to this young lady speak. I never knew she had a voice. I never knew when Vespas and all those people were found in horrible situations. Alec, was it Mogala? So many people were brutalized by the PF government. I never knew that she had a voice. I never knew that Tasila Nungu can shed a tear today. The only person who shed tears when Zambians were, were complaining about the gassing situation was Mrs. Lungu who came up with I'm appealing and people came up with I'm appealing. And I said, look, this is our mother. Let's not mock her. Tasula, Tasila Lungu and your family, you are a bunch of hypocrites. You, ha you have embezzled and you've enjoyed yourselves. You are rich where you are. You have enjoyed state priorities, state functions, and you never uttered a word when the youth of Zambia were going to campaign and protest in the bush. When the idiot Kampiongo was threatening the youth to say he would break their bones. When Kaiser Zulu would utter rubbish. When Boma Nusambo, the Lusaka bully, would bully young people, would bully the people of Lusaka. You were quiet. And today, you want to have a voice. When Mrs. Hichilema in 2017 went to take food for the husband because your father who was filled with so much evil and hatred against President Haka in Ichilama. He's president now. I always called him president. 
made sure that he could not even taste food that was cooked by the wife. Where were you? Where were you with your family? Didn't you have meeting with your father to tell him that daddy what you're doing is wrong? Where were you when Kadarism took over Zambian businesses? When Kadars would beat up people? Where were you when the council had ghost workers? Tasila Lungu, I have a story about you. I remember when I shared about what was happening in the council. When people saw you going to the council offices to see them because you were a councillor, you visited Lusaka City Council. They thought, oh my God, she is the president's daughter. When we tell her that we're not getting paid any salaries, she will do something about it. Where were you? You kept mute. I don't care about your tears. I don't flipping care about how you are being harassed, how you are being this and that. Your father was evil. Your relationship with your father is nothing to do with us. It's none of our business. We salute his your father. But we will never forget how he put the Zambian people in pain. Because of your father, you made me to leave England, to come to Zambia, to campaign for President Haka in the Hichilema. Each time any Zambian person had a voice, the patriotic front would shut that voice up. Where were you? You kept quiet when the gassing was happening. I never saw you utter any word. I never saw you. You were quiet. You were mute. You were frozen. Your father was frozen. And today, you are looking for justice. Justice from who? From where? In, in what context? When you were, the only thing you did was to come on media and lavish us with your wedding pictures. And lavish us with your boat rides and your farm, whatever, whatever you were doing. You never uttered a word, you were quiet. As to what is happening to your father, uh, the law will take its course. Your father promised that Haka in the Ichilema will never be president. He will never allow a Tonga to be president. Me, I'm Namwanga, but I still voted for HH. And he said on that day when we are voting, he will inaugurate himself to be the president of Zambia. The Zambian voices were silenced by pain. The Zambian voices were silenced by your hypocrisy. The Zambians could not even do anything. If they did anything, they were intimidated by cadres. Where were you? Shame on you, bunch of hypocrites. That want to come today and parade as if your father did not go to Haka in the Hichilema's house. To break the, the glass door, which is worth millions. I don't care how much it costs. As long as it belongs to HH, it's, got, it's, it, it's made with money. Intimidated this family. So, you think the way the Hakainde Hichilema's family were feeling, it was okay. You, you are special. You should not experience anything. No, you are not. How come you couldn't even speak to say, Daddy, I don't like what is happening? You were quiet. Quiet. Zambians experienced pain. Where were you? When CDF was being misused, where were you when the target monies were being misused? Where were you when the Zambians were crying during COVID and they said they were suffering? It was okay for the Patriotic Front to have meetings. But when the UPND had meetings, we were told... There's COVID. You have not applied for permission to meet. 
where were you for there's so many injustices that's why i've always said i don't even feel sorry for president Nungu, former because he made me weep when the zambians were held up in a chinese campaign camp as they were working because they were told if you go back to your houses, you lose your jobs. During COVID, you are not allowed to go and see your wives. Meanwhile, they were going. And that's where me, Mao Sampa, and others rose and were talking about how Zambians were being mistreated. You were mute. Shut up your mouth. No one is interested in your crocodile baby tears. Nobody's interested in your tears. Where were you when Joseph was killed? Did you say anything? You kept quiet. So your father is special. He deserves special treatment. He should be treated with the special treatment. Imagine you're sleeping at night, husband and wife, you're cuddling, and you just hear police banging the doors, breaking into your house. And when they break into your house, they grab your husband by force with no, nothing. He has not done anything. Where were you when your father accused President Hakainde Ichilema of treason for simply packing to the side? And Where were you? When it was your turn to be in power, next to the father, they are singing and Zambians are hungry. You are eating my banquets, eating. Your father was dancing home America. Your cadres were buying hats for 200,000 kwacha and Zambians are hungry. Today you want to talk. Whatever your father is getting, he deserves it. Zambia became one of the most corrupt countries in Africa because of your father. Today, Zambia is changing. President Hakaine Chilema might not be the most perfect president, but there is sanity in our country. What we wanted. Your father turned Zambia into some form of ghetto. Where Somebody who has no qualifications, somebody who had no qualifications would be enjoying life because they support the patriotic front. When we had idiots like Kalimashi parading with their bleached skins, I, I could even smell the bleaching creams through the screen. I could even smell it just by looking. He was even sweating. They would come and they would be there, Commander what? Commander what? Nonsense. Rubbish. It doesn't deserve any, any respect at all. I don't care what you say. Whatever is happening to him, he deserves it. They used a lot of manipulation. But what they didn't realize was the Zambian people were silent, but were slowly talking, campaigning. And they decided one voice to vote your father out. Is the sound there? If you can hear me, let me know. That is how we voted your father out. Can you hear me? Let me know. Somebody's saying sound. Maybe you don't have volume, monsieur. Let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Where were you?